Next knot we're going to tie is a clove hitch with webbing. I'm going to grab one end of my webbing, dragging it over to the back side of my T-bar. Crossing it back around in the front to create an X. When you're tying this knot, the X should take face towards you. I'm tying it backwards so you can see. Continuing to work my working end through the center behind that X. Again, lifting up and then dropping it to the back side. When I dress and load this knot, I need to ensure that the webbing does not overlap each other. So I should have three parallel lines, again with one over top. The safety knot for all webbing is an overhand. In order to tie the overhand, we're going to loop around the rope one time, dropping the webbing into the loop that we created, pulling down. Making sure our tail length is between three and five inches. Again, dressing the safety knot up against the hitch. Checking to make sure that my three parallel lines are even.